Hi mamas and welcome back to my channel. My name's Natalia and today I have a prenatal yoga vinyasa flow for women in the first trimester. In our class today you'll just need an exercise mat, a yoga block and a bottle of water. So go and get yourself set up and I'll meet you on the mat. Starting in Sukhasana, bring your right leg in front of your left and cross them over. Bring your hands to your knees, take a deep breath in through the nose and on the exhale tuck the tailbone and curl through the spine. Inhale lengthen up, open the chest as you breathe in, exhale roll through the spine. Inhale lengthen up, exhale curl through. Last one, inhale breathe up, open the chest and then come back to neutral. Next, we're going to do some seated rolls. So transfer your weight back to the side, to the front, to the side, to the back and side, to the front and side. And just with your own breath, moving with your breath as we create those beautiful circular motions. Coming back to stillness, sweep the arms up to the sky. On the exhale, bring your hands down towards the mat. Take slow and deep breaths here. Because we're in the first trimester, this is the most important time to take it easy as your fetus is attaching itself to your uterus wall. So really listen to your body and check in with how each pose feels and modify at any time you need. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, place your palms behind you and switch legs. Bring your left leg in front of you and place your hands back onto your knees, rolling through the seated cat cows. Exhale, roll through the spine. Inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, open up. Good, last round, here we go. Exhale it out. Inhale, breathe it all in. Back to neutral, we're gonna find those circular motions. So come to the front, to the side, to the back, to the side. And using your breath with your movement is a really great way to connect your body. Coming back to stillness, inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, place your forearms down onto the mat. And from here, we don't wanna be curling or crunching over. We just wanna be finding that length through our spine. As you press your hands or your forearms down in towards the mat, you'll feel that really great hip activation. And that stretch will be a really nice release in the lower back. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, let's roll over into all fours. Stacking your hips on top of your knees, your shoulders on top of your wrists. We're going to make our way into a bird dog balance. From here, extend your left leg behind you. Tuck the right toes under and then extend your right arm out in front of you. Pinky finger rolls down. As you breathe in, lift that left leg up to the sky. Finding your balance here. And then on the exhale, back to center. Moving over to the other side. Right leg extends behind you, left arm extends in front of you. Lift that right leg up to the sky as you breathe in. Exhale, back to center. Extend your leg out behind you. This time we're gonna move a little bit faster. Exhale, center. Inhale, extend. Find that balance. Exhale, center. Inhale, extend. Then exhale, center. Last one, make it a good one. And then back to center. Good job, guys. Tuck your toes under. Transfer your weight back into your heels as you sweep your arms up to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale. Bring your hands onto your belly. Close down your eyes and take a deep conscious breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. And even though you're in the first trimester, you might not feel like you have a big bump right now but know that right underneath your hands is this beautiful gift of life. And as we move in our practice today, we are moving with our baby. Gently float your eyes open, rolling forward into all fours, tuck your back toes under and let's meet in downward facing dog. 
bring your feet a little bit further than hip width distance apart. This is going to create more space within the chunk of your body for you and your baby. Press your 10 fingers down in towards the mat and as you take a deep breath in, exhale, open the mouth and sigh it out. Draw your shoulder blades away from your ears as you root down through your hands and your heels. We're going to start our vinyasa flow and we're going to go for three rounds. Inhale, sweep your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring that right knee towards your right elbow and step the right foot on the outside of your right palm. Heel toe your right foot across to the center. And as you inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky for warrior one. On the exhale, you can shift that left foot in a little bit closer so your heel can plant down into the earth. Keeping the hips nice and square, as you breathe in, feel the shoulder blades draw down your spine as your arms reach nice and tall. Take one last breath in here. And then on the exhale, open your arms out to warrior two. You can heel toe that left foot out a little bit further and then bring your palms into your belly to connect with your baby. Keeping a bend in your right knee, making sure that your knee is in alignment over your ankle and as you breathe in let your gaze fall over your knee and out in front of you as you take your next breath extend your arms out to the side grab a hold of your block and place it behind your right foot coming into trikonasana triangle pose as you inhale shift from the torso and on the exhale place your right hand down onto the block Gaze follows through to your left palm up towards the sky, keeping a slight micro bend in the right knee. Find an opening through the chest and side body as you look up and reach up towards the sky. On the exhale, bend your right knee, take a hold of your block and start to shift your weight forward, meeting in Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. As you shift your weight forward into the right foot, Lift your left leg parallel to the floor and flex the foot. Focus your gaze on the floor in front of you and this is going to help you balance. On the exhale, step that foot back into warrior two. Inhale, rotate that left foot up into crescent lunge. And on the exhale, frame the front foot with your palms. You can move your block to the side. From here, shift that right foot back into high plank. From here, lower the knees, untuck the back toes, and then shift your weight down halfway. And then from here, we're going to inhale up into a mini cobra pose, keeping the elbows nice and bent, not putting any weight onto our belly, but more so onto our hips. Transfer your weight back into your knees, tuck your toes, and let's meet in downward facing dog. Send those hips nice and high. Again, you can place your feet a little bit further than hip width distance apart to create that space in your body for you and your baby. Take slow, deep breaths here. In through the nose and out through the mouth. With your next breath, extend your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring that left knee to your left elbow and plant the left foot on the outside of your left palm. Heel toe that left foot across to the center and as you breathe in, sweep the arms up to Virabhadrasana 1 or Warrior 1. Root down through your right heel. You can bring it in a little bit closer to create that space within your body so your hips are nice and square. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then on the exhale, open your palms out to the side for Warrior 2. Heel toe that right foot out a little bit further and then bring your palms onto your belly to connect back with your baby. Draw your tailbone down towards the ground, open up through the chest and the shoulders. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And then on the exhale, extend your palms out to the side, placing that block behind your left foot, coming into Trikonasana, triangle pose. As you breathe in, extend your arms out to the side and tilt your torso forward. On the exhale, place your left palm down onto the block. Right arm extends up to the sky and gaze follows. If you need to find more balance, you can also look down at your left foot and focus on your gaze there. 
Keep reaching up and lengthening through the side body as you open the chest. On the exhale, bend your left knee, shift your weight forward, keeping the block underneath your left palm, coming into half moon pose. Find your balance here. Activate your left glute. As you extend your right leg up towards the sky, keeping it at a 90 degree angle. Breathe in through your nose. And then on the exhale, drop that right foot back to the floor to meet in warrior two. Inhale, crescent lunge, shift that right foot to parallel. Exhale, frame the front foot with your palms, slide that left foot back to high plank. Lower the knees, untuck the back toes, and then lower your body halfway down. Inhale, cobra pose, lifting up onto your thighs as you breathe in. Exhale, tuck the back toes, send the hips high to meet in downward facing dog. Shift those feet out a little bit wider, root down through your palms and through your heels. With your next breath, extend your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, plant the right foot on the outside and then heel toe it across to centre. Inhale, Virabhadrasana 1, Warrior 1. Root down through your back heel, drop the shoulders, reach those palms up towards the sky as you breathe in. On the exhale, open it up to Warrior 2. Hands meet onto your belly to connect back with your baby. Lengthen your tailbone down towards the floor. Find an opening through the chest. And then as you breathe in, exhale, open your arms out towards the side. Bringing that block behind your right foot for Trikonasana. You can step that back foot in a little bit closer. And as you shift from the hips, then place your palm down onto your block. And then find your balance here. Keeping your core and your inner thighs activated. Take a deep breath in. Look down towards your right palm and start to shift your weight forward into half moon pose. Keeping that block underneath your palm to help you balance. Beautiful. Exhale, bring it back to warrior two. Inhale, sweep up to crescent lunge. Exhale, plant your hands down onto the mat to frame your front foot. Then step it back into high plank. On the exhale, lower the knees, untuck the back toes and lower down halfway. Inhale for cobra pose. Exhale, press it back, lift the hips high for downward facing dog. Let's take one deep breath to connect before moving onto the left side. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, open it out through the mouth. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky, left knee to left elbow. Plant the left foot on the outside of your palm and then heel toe it across to center. Inhale, sweep it up for warrior one. Inhale, find length as you open up through the chest, arms reach up to the sky, legs are nice and strong here. Exhale, open it up to warrior two. Palms meet back to your belly to connect with your baby. Keeping that left knee bent, hips are nice and open here. With your next breath, take a hold of your block and place it behind your left foot, moving into Trikonasana, triangle pose. Bring your legs in a little bit closer and then from your torso, tilt forward and place that left palm onto your block. Grounding down through your feet, keeping those inner thighs squeezing together. Bend the left knee, transfer your weight forward, moving into half moon pose. Find your balance here. You are strong in this pose. Breathe in. And then on the exhale, shift it back to warrior two. Inhale for crescent lunge. Exhale, plant the hands down to frame the front foot. Shift the foot back to high plank. Lower the knees, untuck the back toes as you exhale. Inhale for cobra pose. Exhale, press it back for downward facing dog. This time we're going to move through our vinyasa flow on the right and left side, connecting our breath with our movement. Take this flow at your own tempo and I'm going to be moving right beside you.
That was a beautiful flow, everyone. Let's meet in Downward Facing Dog to connect back all together. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then exhale, open the mouth and sigh it out. Bring your feet together and shift your weight forward into high plank. We're going to come into side plank here. So rolling onto the blade of your right foot, lift your left arm up towards the sky. Really root down through that right palm and if you need to modify, you can drop the right knee down towards the mat. Otherwise, stay here in side plank. Another option is to lift the left leg up and over for a different type of modification. The choice is up to you. Really listen to your body and honor how you feel right now in this moment. We're going to take one more deep breath in here. And then on the exhale, bring your left palm down towards the mat back into high plank. Roll onto the blade of your left foot. Right arm extends high for side plank. This is a really great core activation pose that is safe during pregnancy. Remember that you can modify either way by dropping the bottom leg or lifting the top leg high. Inhale, take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good, one more just like that. Breathe it in through the nose. And then on the exhale, bring that right palm down towards the mat to meet back in high plank. From here, we're gonna lower our knees and then shift our weight back onto our heels. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands meet back to your belly to connect with your baby. Soften down your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose. Feel your belly expand. And on the exhale, feel your belly contract. Knowing that with each movement, you're connected to this beautiful life force. Inhale, float your eyes open, shift your weight forward and then roll over to lie down onto your back. When we lie down, we want to move onto our hips and then shift our weight back onto our back. This is just a safe way of laying down throughout our pregnancy. So make sure that your block is nice and handy. We're going to move into bridge pose. Heels are really close towards your booty, so your fingers are nearly touching your heels. As you breathe in, elevate the hips nice and high. And from here, we're going to slide our block underneath our hips. I like to keep this on the lower level just because it doesn't put too much pressure on our pelvis. This is a really nice restorative bridge pose to practice as we cool down after that flow. Really honoring where you are right now and how you feel in this moment. Inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky and remove the block from underneath you. Bring the soles of your feet to touch, knees splay out open. Place one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart for Supta Baddha Konasana. Relax your feet, relax your hips, relax your shoulders and relax your jaw. Taking your deep breath in, hug the knees in towards the chest as you extend your right leg up and then your left leg, meeting in happy baby pose. Taking a bend in the knees, find that length through your spine as you push the lower lumbar spine down in towards the mat. As you inhale, release your knees in towards your chest and then roll over onto one side and make your way into a seated position. We're going to close our practice off with a little mini meditation instead of a laying shavasana. Inhale, bring your hands back to your belly. Close down your eyes. And take a deep conscious breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Taking this moment to express gratitude towards yourself for showing up today, for taking the time to move your body, to create stillness in your mind and to connect with your spirit and your beautiful baby. Taking a deep inhale through the nose and then on the exhale, float your eyes open. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this prenatal yoga flow. 
If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel because you really support me when you do this and I'm going to be creating more videos like this for you guys. So I'd love for you to follow along. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.